after last Monday's killer clown makeup, I thought it was time for a freaky clown makeup. And that is this one. This one has been created with the wax by Benai, the solid colors by Pro Air and the bloods by Vermilion Effects. And if you want to know how I have created it, please keep watching because I will show you step by step in the coming video. To create the wounds on today's clown, I'm gonna work with the Cut and Bump Wax by Ben Nye. I love this wax, it's a very soft wax, easy to work with on the skin and you can create amazing wounds with this. So I'm gonna give my clown some wounds on the face. As it is a Halloween clown, I think wounds are definitely necessary to make it into a scary clown. Before I will apply the wax to my skin, I will put a thin layer of Prozade on the skin first. And that is just to make it easier to stick the wax on the skin. It's very sticky on its own, the wax. But just to make it a bit easier to apply it, I like using Prozade. And once the Prozade has become transparent, I will just put a roll of the wax on my forehead. As the wax wants to stick to anything it touches, I am using petroleum jelly or Vaseline to prevent it from sticking to my tool. So I'm just dipping my spatula in the Vaseline and with doing this, it doesn't want to stick to my spatula anymore. So I am just flattening the wax. There it is nice and smooth. With the sharp side of the spatula I will create the wound. So I want it to start in my hairline and I also want it to end there. I want it to be kind of big. There is the massive wound on my forehead. As I put a lot of petroleum jelly on the wound, I do want to get rid of that grease. And that is why I'm gonna powder it with a color set powder by Meron. But I'm gonna do it with a small brush and very gently because I don't wanna disturb the wound I just created on the forehead. So if you put powder on a wax wound, you can definitely immediately see if you did a good job on the edges or not. If you didn't, they will stick out a bit and you can still refine the edges until you're satisfied. The clown I created last Monday had a white base, so it was evenly white and that was completely the intention. For today's clown makeup, I don't want that even white base, so I'm gonna work with a few off-white colors. So this one is called Bone. It is in the Wicked palette by the Pro Air Solids. And I'm also gonna work with this color, which is called Walking Dead, and it is in the Thriller palette. I'm gonna work with one of my Titanic FX brushes. This is the large stipple brush. And to activate the solids, I will use Pro Long also by Pro Air. The solids by Pro Air are water resistant. So if you put them on the skin, you are safe and can party all night without having to worry about your makeup. To start making this into a clown, I'm switching to the Trauma palette, still working with the solids of course. And I have a black in this palette, which I will use to create the clown shape in my eyes.
Before I will continue with the black, I'm just quickly gonna test something. And that is it for the black solid makeup. As I have the trauma palette here, I will color the inside of the wound with this one as well. So I will start out with the light red color, then the darker red, and finally the very dark red one uh, to give some depth to this wound. This color is called Road Rash, so it is kind of dried blood. On to the old blood color. Time for some powders. This is the gray Star Blend by Meron. And I will start out with the gray to see if it is enough or if I would need to add a bit of black to it as well. So I'm using the gray just to put some shadows around that black. I will probably go back in with the black star blend as well to darken up these shadows. The black star blend. And the last powder I put on was obviously the red star blend by Meron. I am going to put in my contact lenses which are my black sclera lenses of course i am quickly gonna color my waterline black and i will put just a bit more of the black powder on my upper eyelid because I feel they are too light at this point. To become a clown I need the red clown's nose. So I have a brush with the light red color from the trauma palette. And I will just give myself a nice clown's nose. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks actually kind of cute. So I have a bit of black powder to put over the edge of the clown's nose. For blood, I'm gonna put a little bit of the cloth paste by Vermilion Effects in the wound. It is a very lovely dark blood gel. And to apply it, I have my spatula. So I don't wanna get all of the wound covered in blood but I definitely want a bit of blood to be there for the liquid bloods I will use the drying bloods by Vermilion effects I've got the crimson blood and the ox blood so it is the light and the dark one I'm gonna put both in the wound and I think it would look amazing And the dark blood as well.
Now I quickly put my wig on. This is the wig I used in my Mad Hatter makeup for last year's Halloween videos. And I thought the crazy black wig would fit this clown perfectly. So that completes my makeup tutorial for today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel in the link below to stay tuned on all the videos we will upload to this YouTube channel. We have loads of videos planned for you until Halloween, so definitely stay tuned.